Hi, sisters. James Charles here. Welcome back to my- I'm just kidding. I'm not James Charles. But that'd be so cool if I were James Charles. Anyways, um, somehow you found this video, whether it's through a different platform or right here on YouTube, but I'm glad you're here. This is kind of weird recording through an audio file only because I'm not used to this, but so far this new activity has been pretty fun for me. I'm not gonna lie though, I don't upload on here often, but since it's summer break, I decided to do something a little bit different to keep myself busy. I enjoy drawing a lot, so I figured why not make a time lapse, you know, you feel? Anyways, this is gonna be a pretty quick and short video, although I'm not gonna lie, the whole introduction with Jenny T Presents seems much longer than I anticipated. Throughout the video, I decided to draw a chicken that I named Cluck. He's a common character that appears throughout my channel, and he's often featured in my animations. I like to draw him a lot, only because he's very simple to draw and consists of really basic shapes. I'm not really sure where this video will end up, but I figured I might as well speak my mind while drawing this chicken. Anyways, as I said before, this is definitely outside of my comfort zone. I'm not used to recording on an audio, but it's weird listening to your own voice back, especially when you're not actually doing the talking in the moment, yet you are, but you also aren't, if that makes any sense. Another thing that I guess is considered weird is the way that I hold a pencil. Apparently your thumb is supposed to be bent outwards when you write, but I guess I have a hitchhiker's thumb so clearly it's gonna look a little bit funky. And I'm not sure if that's the reason why, but in conclusion, I guess I'm a weird writer. But I ain't got no problem with that. Then again, I also noticed that depending on my mood, my thumb can sometimes stick straight up when I write too. Which I guess is also considered weird? I don't know. I also have this giant birthmark on my arm, which I often forget that I have, but I've had it ever since I was born, so there's that. And if you're wondering what my bracelet says, it says 2008 in Roman numerals, which is basically a matching friendship bracelet. Speaking of friends, you might see a Lego Stormtrooper throughout the video. His name's Roberto, and he says hello. So, since I'm a huge user of Snapchat, the story of Roberto came about when I just started using him as a model for my Snapchat streaks. To me personally, nothing is more upsetting than getting a black screen with the word streaks written in small white text, so personally I try to make Snapchat streaks more enjoyable to open by using Roberto, because that's more entertaining to look at. Gradually, over the course of time, I've accumulated a bunch of photos of the Stormtrooper and made an online photo album which you can view in the link in the description. Wow, look at that, I sound like a true YouTuber. Even though I'd probably never consider myself as one just because I'm making this video for fun and I probably won't upload until next summer, but you know. Anyways, the video is almost over and I didn't even know I was recording this last clip, but thanks for watching! That was ugly. I'm sorry, blooper!